welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be fixing a fan game. A while ago, I made a video on this game and I said, hey, it could be a little bit better if you did these things. And since then, they have actually hired me to go through, fix all of the builds, the lighting, etc. And uh, yeah, we're going to completely revamp this map. I have a whole list of things that I want to do. And I don't know if it's actually working right now, but if it is, I could play it and sort of show you guys who are unfamiliar. However, we're not going to play for a super long time because we definitely got to get to work. So back when I played this game, I do remember the core of everything seemed pretty nice and satisfying, but this, the whole point of this game, the plot keeps getting bigger, right? So let me go ahead and just try to buy this first one real quick. Yeah, it's going to take too long. Anyways, each plot expands sideways and back, but way back here, once you're a hundred percent filled up with your island, there's really no progression. So all of these rocks stay the same throughout the whole build. And I think the main thing I want to do is make five variations of rocks, adding particles, lighting, and everything like that. So you feel like you are attacking harder and cooler rocks later on in the game. Of course, all the houses and huts, everything like this all needs to be redone too, because it's just not very aesthetically pleasing, but it's all good. I like the bridges. We may keep those. Let's hop into Blender and let's do the rocks first. We're gonna do this quite literally the easiest way possible. Let's get rid of the camera and the light. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier onto here. Bump it up a little bit right in here. We're gonna go very, very high. You're gonna have to work with me on this one, guys. Of course, auto smooth, that's gonna help us quite a bit. Let's, uh, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and just apply this. We're gonna do control A. Let's grab another modifier called displace. Oh yeah, beautiful. Let's add a new texture on here. Then go to our texture settings right down here and we can use any of these i'm gonna use v voronoi i don't know how to say it man as you can see a perfect rock has formed after we adjust some things of course first things first the intensity man it, it's uh it is quite intense right now gotta be honest here now i'm gonna go ahead and play around with these settings right here and uh hopefully we get something that sort of looks like a rock honestly dudes I'm not too mad at this. We have some cool shapes. Every side's a little bit different. And uh, I think it's actually pretty good. Let's duplicate this real quick. We could scale it on like the Z axis. Maybe do one where we make it a little flatter. Uh, something like this. Rotate it a little bit. You know, we'll have all different types of rocks. We don't need these at the moment because we can always do that in studio later. But I think for the most part, they're going to need to be kind of the same size with a little bit of variation throughout the pack. So with this, let's go ahead and just apply our modifier. And as you can see, for a rock, if I could grab the right tab, there we go. Now this rock is a beautiful 12,000 triangles, which uh, yeah, 6,000 verts. Definitely gonna do some stuff like a beautiful decimate modifier. Would you look at this? Now, if we do 0.5, it doesn't really affect much at all, but it does cut it in half. So let's do that. And we could decimate it one more time. All right, guys, I made a few assets that I could just kind of put scattered around the rock in studio. Then we can do our lighting stuff as well as particles. Now, after the rocks, let's see what else we had to do on this list. I think what sounds fun to do next is the portal. Um, I'm not looking forward to the buildings at all. So for the portal, let's go ahead, grab in a little cube. Let's scale it down. There we go. Let's go ahead and duplicate this make that one a little bit longer let's bevel these now we'll duplicate this one throw it on the other side or actually let's keep it on this side we're gonna make it just a little bit shorter and add a little bend in it something like this now we can add an array modifier throw it on the y-axis 1.2 1.1 1.01 we're getting very close to where we need to be 0 0.02 there we go now that should be okay for us all right guys so i've made my long line of random bricks aka a three bricks and then you just copy and paste it a few times we're gonna add a modifier called simple deform which is very nice and we don't want it on the twist we want bend and as you can see that's uh that's not exactly where we want to be so we want to bend it around the z axis now it's starting to turn and we want to make a whole circle i'm thinking like more of a floating portal rather than the classic simulator portal that is attached to the ground i don't know just something a little different so of course a circle is 360 degrees 
there we go and now this is in a perfect circle and it's looking pretty good so i'm just gonna apply that and now we could do the actual inside of it so r90 and this would be floating in the air i think it'll be pretty cool now for the inside of this i'm gonna do a plain perfect once again r90 and we're gonna make this fill up the whole interior here now you guys might be like hey rope builder man it's clipping what the heck it's outside of your portal bounds what are you gonna do guys i have to subdivide it anyways so here we go we're gonna subdivide this quite a bit and i'll decimate later now let's add another modifier displace add a new texture go to our texture settings let's go to hmm let's do moss grave i don't know we're about to see guys we're about to see intensity quite a bit uh it, it, it's pretty intense i gotta be honest all right so i don't think this is gonna be the one let's try wood i believe that's what i used last time and then we can switch our pattern to ring noise band noise rings or bands i'm gonna do rings as you can see it's looking pretty good and then we need to adjust all of our like all of our settings to make this sort of fit a lot better so let's go back to our modifiers tab and with this displace modifier we have strength and mid level this mid level should probably be like at 0.5 i may have moved it on accident i don't know but there we go and now our strength as you can see up or down let's go maybe right right here and then shade smooth yeah that looks pretty cool so let's apply our displace after our subdivision surface of course and we have this so for a portal not too bad let's shade smooth this as well and auto smooth it and bump up the auto smooth to probably about 40 yeah that's looking pretty good to me now this would look even better if we did more subdivisions but i don't want it to be like super intensive so for now here we are portal is done rocks are done up next we need to go to i guess we could do leaderboards i'm gonna do the simple assets real quick i think we could skip over those and maybe i'll come back with the buildings all right guys i don't overly know where we left off but i just redid the lighting in here just to make it a little bit different now on their game they used lime green as a color which uh i know i've been known to build very bright but even for my taste it's a bit extreme so i switched it to bright green we still need to add a texture on this and everything like that now one of my biggest uh, I guess complaints in this game was all of the rocks are the same from the start all the way to the end. You never feel like you're attacking anything that's harder and uh, well, I've changed that. So check this out. Made quite a few rock variants. I did scrap the idea of uh, the different types of ores because it might get players confused as, oh, now I'm mining, you know, diamonds. Uh, where is my diamond stat? So now we just have, you know, kind of how they did it in the previous game, just revamped a little bit. So we have normal, a little bit harder, a little bit harder, and then hardest. Uh, I think these turned out pretty good. The only thing I may change is the particle coming out of either this one or this one. And then here is the new trees and bushes rather than these trees and bushes. So overall, a smoother aesthetic. I'm gonna get all those placed. I need to still bring my portal in. It failed to import, so that's fun. And then we have a leaderboard, and then I think it's just all the buildings. Oh, and the eggs. We can't forget the eggs, but I have to wait for the, the uh, actual development developer of this game to wake up so I can see uh, what each egg theme is so I can have like specialized eggs instead of just like a normal egg. Anyways, let's get this little stuff scattered around and placed about. Make this look a little nicer. We can grab a texture for the ground, which we'll do right now with my friend RoboCrafters plugin, add easy textures. And there's so, so many to choose from. Let's see if there's any grass ones we like. There's one that I really like, but I can never find it in here because, oh, it might be this one. No. All right, guys, I think it's this one let's go ahead and add it to uh the right side this is a cylinder so it's a little messed up there we go we actually got the right side first try right right side i guess <laughs> now this is a bit too big we're gonna switch it to five and five and then of course the transparency yeah it needs to be like barely noticeable something like that is what i like now all we gotta do is add this stuff around the map i'm gonna uh, it's not really big enough to use brush tools so i'll just place it manually and i'll be back when that's stuff's placed and we got the portal in all right guys so i've been working on this for a little second and here's the old map right here and the new one uh at least start is right here now i will say 
Uh, this, this neon green-ish, it, it's growing on me. I'm not gonna lie, but, uh, I think I just need to stick with my color palette and maybe change up the lighting itself a bit. I've also switched the, uh, the mesh in here with a portal decal. Uh, I think it just, it looks better overall, and it's probably a bit more optimized just using an image rather than thousands of vertices. So that looks pretty cool. Another thing I've done is spread out everything. Also, keep in mind this and this is placeholders. Get those uh, all modeled out very shortly. Uh, but I've switched around the map layout a little bit because I noticed on this one, you have half of your stuff right here and half of your stuff here, which gives you zero reason to go to this side or this side of the map. On mine, I made it so there's something on every side. So we have our boss portal here, eggs here, uh, group reward and leaderboards over here, and our upgrades over here. It just makes it so they have to go throughout the entirety of the map, which already isn't too big. So I don't think that's an issue. So I guess up next, we need to go ahead. Oh, I also changed these. Over here, all of the uh, the things are the same color. Oh, this like bronzy color, the ring and everything bronzy color and it just doesn't look that good and this was gray so i've added some color to that we've made this gold we made over here white and this one's still this color because it matches the chest pretty well and then this one i changed to red i just think that looks so so much cooler and then i rounded these off instead of just having the squares i think that looked pretty cool as well all right guys it's time for a little bit of magic as we can see the current plot well not exactly to my liking so let's change this first. I'm thinking a purple color for hiring workers. We'll go something around here and our transparency is gonna have to uh, come back up because it, it looked pretty bad in my opinion. And then of course, we will need to change our color of our text as well. This one right here and the color, I wanna go for a nice purple. There we go. And then this building, yeah, just, just get rid of it. Up next for workers, I think yellow is actually a perfect color, kind of like hard hats and stuff. So we could just delete that building. And now, we need to get rid of the texture on all of these because we have our other texture that we want to use. We also need to change the colors and we're going to delete this building as well because I don't overly think it has a purpose other than decoration. So here's our color. Let's grab all of these and make the color the same. There we go. And this base color needs to be changed as well. Just like that. I guess there's one for each side. Perfect. And now we need to grab this texture right here. We're going to paste it onto this one. And then of course we need to change our side to top. Perfect. Now we can copy this texture right here and paste it onto the rest of these. Absolutely gorgeous. Now guys, I'm going to place the shops, get the plot sort of organized, and you guys are going to be blown away. So here's our new shop for workers and pickaxe. I may need to adjust them a little bit just so they can be uh, separated a little more so players don't get uh, too confused, but that is in the fine details. Now I need to pass this on over to the actual programmer and owner of the game. Oh, I forgot my upgrade shop. Okay, we'll do a little upgrade shop. I still have to wait on eggs because he still hasn't gotten back to me, but we can just wait on those. That's okay. All right, guys, I just finished up this map lacking the eggs, of course, because I don't have any word on those yet, but this is looking quite a bit better, at least in my opinion, than the previous map, which looked like this. Now, I'm gonna hand this over to the owner. Hopefully, uh, he could get everything kind of in and working and then i don't publish this video until the game is updated but either way when this video is up the game link will be down below in the description right at the top for you guys to check it out if you want to give it a shot but that is going to wrap it up for today if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later